we've got an exclusive update on Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation suit against Amber Heard. James Corden announces that he is leaving late night. Plus, Will and Jada Pinkett Smith are getting the help they need after the infamous Oscar slap. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your news in entertainment. Let's jump into it today with Late Late Show host James Corden because he announced his retirement from the show after seven and a half years. In a touching statement, Corden said, I've decided to sign on for one more year on this show and that this year will be my last hosting. When I started this journey, it was always going to be just that. It was going to be a journey, an adventure. I never saw it as my final destination. Recall James began hosting The Late Late Show in 2015 after his predecessor, Craig Ferguson, departed. We wish you well, James. Can't wait to see what you do next, unless it's another Cats movie. Please, just don't. Switching gears to an update on Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, because now, according to Us Weekly, the couple will get the help that they might really need. A source told the outlet that Mr. and Mrs. Smith are focused on moving past the Oscars incident and committing to therapy together and trying to salvage the best of a pretty horrible situation. Recall that Will slapped Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars after he made a joke about Jada's bald head. The I Am Legend star has since apologized and faced significant consequences for his actions by being banned from the Oscars for 10 years. I'm still waiting for Jada to talk about this on Red Table Talk, but we'll see if that ever happens. Closing today with one of the wildest trials I've seen in a long time. I'm of course referring to Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation suit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. We would need a full hour to discuss all the details, but in case you just woke up, here's a little recap. Depp is suing Heard, alleging that she falsely portrayed him as a domestic abuser and harmed his acting career. The claim is mainly focused around a 2018 op-ed that Heard wrote in the Washington Post in which she made references to suffering abuse, but she did not name Depp clearly. Currently, at the moment, a source close to the Pirates of the Caribbean star exclusively told Hollywood Life about how positive Johnny is feeling during this whole ordeal. The insider said Johnny's feeling more and more confident as the days in court for this trial have progressed. This time around feels very different since they're back in the States and Johnny has supporters who weren't able to be there for him previously. Note that some of these trials originally took place in the UK. The source also said not only supporters outside the courthouse, but his friends and family who have come and sat front row in court and who have testified on his behalf. It means the world to Johnny and he's feeling hopeful that he will be vindicated once and for all. To read all the details on this case, head over to HollywoodLife.com. We got it all broken down for you there. But all right, hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnia. Stick with us for the latest. Bye, guys.